Hi everybody and welcome to this third session all about lead magnets and um, this session is all about where you can use them and how you can use them uh, to the best possible effect so that you bring in more revenue to your business. Okay right let's make a start. Um, basically lead magnets you can share as many times as you would like. Um, so the main places I share lead magnets um, are via my website. So I have like a page, my homepage has um, three main lead magnets that I use um, and they're on, the, they're on the main page. But then again, also I have a resources page so that people can find free resources there as well. So that's one idea. You can have it on your website and people can sign up. I find way more people do that. They, they go onto my list. Um, I think there was about three people just signed up to a general form that I have at the end of each blog post that my theme just set up um, because there's an incentive for them. So if you give them something in return for their email address, they're far more likely to sign up. Um, number two, um, I have, uh, I share my um, my lead magnets on social media. Um, so I might have a link. I might, what I do is I tend to, depending on what I'm promoting or what topic I'm talking about, I'll pick or I'll create a new lead magnet, depending. Um, and I'll have it in my Instagram bio, link to it in my Instagram bio. I'll have, I'll share it probably once, twice a week across LinkedIn, Facebook, and you know, like feel free to share it on as many platforms as you can without spreading yourself too thin. Um, one interesting way that I've found, uh, and I can't claim it for my own, but um, Maria went uh, described a way of, of sharing something that, you know, like say when you've got a group, um, like, or you, yeah, so like I've got a free Facebook group. So if I want to share a new lead magnet, what I'll do is I'll say, oh, I've got a new resource or guide that will really help you with whatever the problem you're going to solve for them. And um, do you want details? So rather than dropping the link in the Facebook post, um, you just wait for them to respond. So you ask them to respond in a certain way. So you might say, drop me an emoji or, you know, like specify which emoji you want or drop me yes in the comments and I'll reply back to you with a link. And what that does is definitely on Facebook and LinkedIn, it pulls it back to the top of the feed again so that people can see it. So it makes your post more visible because there's been interaction on it. And then when when you reply with your link to your lead, your lead magnet, another thing you can do is say, oh, thanks for um, your interest in this and then put the lead, the lead magnet link to where they can sign up for it. And then also say, let me know when you've done um, by saying done. And then they have to reply again, which means it sends it back up to the top again, which is really, really cool. So try it. Um, not my tip, but a tip that I am actioning now and it's really effective. Um, yeah, so that's social media. Um, you could introduce them in your lives. You can drop it in your YouTube channel. There's so many places that you could add a lead magnet. Now, another idea for you as well is like, I have a podcast. So with each podcast I do, I try to find um, a lead magnet. I, I might create a lead magnet relating to that episode. So one entrepreneur that I know called Mar Margarita Berti, she teaches Italian and she has a podcast and every podcast, she has a related lead magnet that people can download. So and it gives them practice for Italian. And she said she's built her list so much off that. So if you have the time, that is one thing to consider. I find them quite effective as well because people are downloading a specific thing. Um, that's probably if you've had your business a bit longer because what you want to do if you're new in business is create maybe your, th your first three main ones and focus on really getting the customer journey right with the emails that come after and then offering 
a paid offer or something like that, just so that you're not overwhelming yourself. But over time, you want to build your audience consistently. That is a really great way of doing it. I do it myself. I'm guilty of not doing every podcast episode. Sometimes, you know, like I'm not going to force a lead magnet there if it's not going to fit. Um, but most occasions there is a nice one that goes along with it that will help people action something. So I do 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 that via my podcast and it's really successful. Um, another great one, particularly for building your visibility, is to get in as many of um, other people's audiences as possible. So what I'm going to be looking at now, possibly starting a bit late, but is asking to speak in other people's groups and in, 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 in um, return for that, sharing a lead magnet that might help them that's related to what I'm talking about. So, you know, make it easy for yourself. Think about the topics that you've got lead magnets already for and, and pitch them that topic. Chances are it's going to be really useful for a related audience anyway. Um, and that'll get people onto your list and you'll be, you know, like other people's audiences, they can be way bigger, can't they? So that's another way of of promoting your lead magnet. You could go on a live with somebody else. You know, you could even do something like as low key as an Instagram live or um, a podcast together. So maybe think about, you know, if you have got that podcast and you've been doing it on your own for a while, maybe now is the year to just think, to open it up to guests or even guests on other podcasts so that you can get your lead magnets out to an amazing amount of people that you never would have reached before. Um, there's another one as well that I haven't experimented with as much. I must admit, I'm going to be trying this more and more, but I have seen um, lead magnets promoted in the DMs. So I'm um, done some research on this and I, I, I really do. My opinion of it is that, you know what, if you've been speaking to somebody through the DMs for a while and they like what, you know, like the solutions you've given them, it can be a really great thing to do to just say, look, hey, you know what, I know you're, you're having a hard time with this. I have a lead magnet if you want to sign up for it. Just make it really, really transparent that they will be adding their email to your list and I don't see a problem with that. People really appreciate when you can come up with a solution, especially if you're not just like sending them cold DMs. <laughs> I wouldn't advocate selling, sending them cold DMs at all. But yeah, it's, it's part of a conversation. I think sharing your lead magnet like that is amazing. Um, another one, you can go into groups. Now you need to make sure in Facebook groups or in LinkedIn groups that you check the rules before you do this. But some groups do um, offer like a share facility every time, every so often they might have a once a week, share your, you know, key information, your key thing to solve a problem. They might allow you to promote within the group as well. So, you know, like one of the groups I'm in at the moment lets you do that. So come up with a post that maybe sounds a little bit like less salesy, um, less promotional, just say, Hey, I, I developed, this um as i was solving my own problem would you like a copy and then people can comment and and get that link from you and um i've tried this a couple of times in groups and it's been really successful other groups haven't made it specifically clear that you're not allowed to do that and i've been like <laughs> well like threatened to be blocked from them but you've got to just i, I did my homework i had a look at their rules and, and it wasn't specified but they they usually come back and tell you you know look look hey we don't we don't want you to do that please don't do that or you'll be blocked or something they usually come up with some kind of communication before that happens so um and just be aware that you know it it can be seen as promotional but do it in the right way in the right groups and you'll be absolutely fine yeah, I hope that's been inspirational for you. There's so many ways of sharing your lead magnets. Um, even, you know, with, with colleagues who need help, um, you know, if you've got people who you're in like a mastermind with and they need help on a specific thing, it might be that you could even send it them via email. Uh, past clients, 
that can really work as well if they've got if you if you've got something that you think hey do you know what I think I'll reach out and just say it's a free gift for you here you go actually that brings me on to your current subscribers you know don't let don't sometimes forget them so like with sometimes when I have a really hot lead magnet and I'm like this is really really good I don't want to have to make my loyal subscribers have to sign up for that again because you know no one wants to really do that do they so what I do is I'll I might share it in my weekly email so they've got it they've got access because you know they, they're supporting you they're looking at your content all the time they deserve to uh, get the problem solved so that can be an, another way of um, sharing your lead magnet as well if, um, with your current subscribers so you're re-nurturing them right okay I hope that was really useful for you and gave you some ideas um, I will be back uh with my next one about lead magnets can't wait to see you again and uh, leave your comments at the bottom uh if you're on youtube or uh in the facebook group i'll be sure to answer them if you've got any questions okay see you later guys